Welcome to my second episode of recipes I got off the box. Last week we did Nilla wafers and I had three different recipes. I don't always aim to shoot so high, but guess what? This week I have three recipes again. I just spit. This week I found a giant box of Bisquick in my pantry. And I think this is something I got at Costco. I thought it seemed like a good idea. We don't eat that many pancakes and it's been sitting in my pantry ever since. How long? Can something like this, does it ever expire? I hope not, because we're gonna try some today. The most beautiful thing about this box is that it comes with so many recipes on the back, and I really had a hard time narrowing it down. Of course, I didn't wanna just do pancakes. We know that the pancakes are good, uh, and I didn't wanna do waffles. I thought we could try the sausage cheese balls made with Bisquick, what? Impossibly easy mini cheeseburger pies, and a strawberry shortcake. Who doesn't love, everyone loves strawberry shortcake. I feel like this could be a real winner for us. So, that's, that's what I did. First, I made the sausage cheese balls. kind of concoction that I've ever made before. Uh, it was a little bit, little dry with the Bisquick, but there was something very addicting about it. And even though we ate it and we were like, well, these are they're not, not bad, they're actually pretty good. Uh, we had a football game going and next thing you knew, I mean, we didn't eat them all, but <laughs> it got close. The next thing we tried were the impossibly easy mini cheeseburger pies. And the mini cheeseburger pies were like, it's basically meatloaf. Uh, you could put pickles and tomatoes on them at the end and they were, they were actually really good. It reminded me how much I really do like meatloaf. I used to make mini meatloafs in um, cupcake pans and I really should do that again. <laughs> actually delish. It does taste like a cheeseburger slash meatloaf. And I am a fan of meatloaf. It might not look like the box, but it doesn't matter because it tastes good. I feel like between the cheese balls and the cheeseburger pies, the cheeseburger pies were the ones that I would actually probably make again. I wouldn't say the Bisquick is a like must have part of the recipe. Like you could just use breadcrumb. Like you could just make meatloaf the regular way. But if you've got a giant box of Bisquick in your pantry, why not add it to your meatloaf? Now the last thing we made were the strawberry shortcakes. We saved the best for last. They sure look tasty. I think that uh, first of all, I'm gonna have Harper come over and make one of her own, and then we're gonna dig into this together. Harper, you wanna make one? Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. How gorgeous those turned out. You need one of these. Can you put it on your on your plate? There you go. Let's cut it in half. Scoop that and put it on your shortcake. Mm -hmm. Just whack it. I wanna add some strawberries. Want some more strawberries on there? Mm -hmm. My bite. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Harper, is this something you would make for your children? Me? 
your friends. You would make it for your friends? Mm-hmm. And you would share? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. Mmm. Mm. What do you love more, strawberries or whipped cream? I like cream. You like the whipped cream? Mm-hmm. Who's your best friend? Abby. Oh. Does she go to school with you? Mm-hmm. Who's your second best friend? Abina. I mean, like, who's who's your best friend in this house right now? Abina. Abina? Mm hmm Am I your best friend? Mm-hmm. <coughs> just want some whipped cream. Just want some whipped cream. Just want some whipped cream. Got a big one. I would say that this is a little bit crumbly. You know, it's not like that sponge cake you'll find at the grocery store right next to the strawberries, and it's real moist. This is uh, crumbly, but tasty. Mm-hmm. You think so? You could pour maple syrup on it, and I wouldn't hate it. I mean, I definitely, I mean, come on, Bisquick. Who are you trying to fool? You're a pancake. It is reminiscent to the, 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 the fair scone. That is what this tastes like, a fair scone. I'm not mad at it. All right, well, I think this is our second win in a row. Betty Crocker, with your Bisquick and all your recipes, this is her way of saying, buy the big box. We're not just pancakes anymore. We've got your, we've got your breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, brunch. This is a one-stop shop right here in this box, so does not need to sit in your pantry for three years. You really should try to find out what the expiration date is though. That would be probably wise. Until then, have a good week and bye. Bye. <coughs> Better if used by April 16th, 2016. So, you know, I think we've had enough. I think we've had enough. Probably good that you didn't eat the uh I just wanna get the pancake. Yeah.